Bonjour, mes amis. Brad Wright here from the Single Malt Whiskey Club, and as you may have guessed, we're off to France today to talk about a 120-year-old distilling company, the Warringam Distillers, and, to, and specifically their Armoric brand of single malt whiskey. Warringam Distillers was founded in 1900 and quickly made a name for itself through its production of plant-based liqueurs. In fact, its flagship product, Elixir d'Amérique, is made from 35 plants and is still in production today. In fact, it wasn't until 1983 that Gilles Lizer, a trained pharmacist and successor to the then owner Yves, decided that the main focus of the business should shift to production of our favorite tipple, single malt whiskey. Quite the gamble for a French business to embrace a traditionally British product, wouldn't you agree? Not only is Gilles set on completely French whiskey, he's driven to make a whiskey that uses 100% Brittany, the northwestern French province where the distillery is located, ingredients and is mashed, fermented, distilled and aged in the same region. His passion for Brittany is vindicated when in 2015, Breton whiskey is officially made a geographical indication, like Speyside in Scotland. We featured a couple of armoricks over the years since it came to Australia in 2015, and this month we're proud to offer the Armoric Sherry Cask in its all new look packaging finery. This is a 100% Oloroso Sherry Age whiskey, and ooh la la, what a delight it is. So, uh, Here's the, uh, the new look packaging, completely new bottle, labelling, and, and very elegant and French it is too, may I say. No age statement, not particularly dark, so best guess this is non-coloured. It's a lovely, rusty iron orange, I hope, as you can see. So how does it taste? There it is. On the nose, well, all your chevrolet favourites are well represented here. There's sweet fruit, lovely floral notes, buttered toast, vanilla. There's also a Jaffa type choc orange note that rounds it out nicely. And on the palate, mm. oh yeah, mm. oh it's lovely and rich. It's not particularly oily mouthfeel, but it does coat the mouth nicely. Big red fruit, creamy eggnog flavour, slight pepperiness, and a touch of leather there too. Mm -hmm. The finish sees uh, mild spice around the back of the mouth, as well as more of those lovely fruit notes with vanilla and that Jaffa note swirling around. Ooh la la, I love it! Mm. Yum. Now, onto our optional extra for March. Another expression from those super talented Firkin lads. This time, we have their Ben Reen's 2008 Madeira cask. But simply calling this a Madeira cask expression doesn't really do justice to what this is aged in. These casts are custom made for Firkin and made from two types of oak. Half the staves in the casks are American ex-bourbon oak and half of them are French limousine oak. Once assembled, these casks are shaved inside and then recharred to Mike Colling specifications, then seasoned with Madeira fortified wine. If you're new to the club or to whiskey, you may not have heard of Mike Collings. He's the ex-Diageo marketing genius who invented such dreams as Johnny Walker Blue Label, Johnny Walker Green Label, the Classics Malt Collection, and I could go on and on and on, but, but I'll resist. This single cask matured Ben Reens has been on the wood since 2008 and is bottled at a healthy 48.9% ABV. 
Only 259 bottles of this whisky has been produced, and of that 259, only a fraction has made it to the Australian shores. So again, this really is a limited edition whisky, and once it's gone, it's all gone. So let's have a look at this Speyside Sipper. Pleasantly light gold colour, or straw colour, I guess. There it is. And more importantly, here it is. On the nose, it's a bit beguiling and hard to pin down. I get a mild cured meat overtone on this, similar to an Ilar, but without the smoke, the tar and iodine flavours um, typical of Ilar whiskies. Um, there's also there's also a nice honey and, and then there's a sour lolly type note. Um, like, do you remember Warheads? Like that in there. On the palate, Mm. Oh, no. On the palate, it's immediately lovely and mouth-coatingly oily with a warm, sweet vibe. That charcuterie sort of character I got on the nose is conspicuously absent from the palate, but the honey note continues alongside sweet pears and apples. Mm. Mm. There's also a medium spice at the back of the palate. It's warming sweet and very easy to drink. It finishes with a rolling spiciness that lingers amongst the waves of fruit and vanilla and fades out with a residual warmth. Oh yeah. Yep. Definitely qualifies as a chewy finish in this guy's humble opinion. Yum. Once again, Mr. Collings, I doffed me hat to you. So that's our march here at the Single Malt Whiskey Club. A delightful French sherry bomb, the Armrec sherry cask. And for those craving a Scottish gram, the Firkin Lovely Ben Reens 2008 Madeira single cask from the Firkin Whiskey Company. If you haven't trouble deciding, have no fear. You can always get both. I know I will. So until next month, that's it from this guy. Till next month, slam javar and au revoir. Mm. Yep. Yeah.